India's test squad for the most anticipated India vs basketball test series is out and there are notable emissions and there is also a lot of news circulating around KL Rahul not wanting to keep if that is the case like who should be the keeper and what is India's playing level and potential backups reasons on why players are also missing. So do watch this video fully it's a very short and crisp video once you here please do subscribe and then let's get started. First things first this is the squad that has been announced. And uh, we have to honestly accept that we can't even have one complaint on this squad. Of course, people might raise concerns on Shuman Gill over there because off late he is not giving runs. And in the same spot, Chetishwar Pujara has started to give runs. But we have to really understand one thing. Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, Ajinkya Rahane, Chetishwar Pujara. Four pillars of Indian Test Cricket. And it's time that India decided that they need to move on from them. And they have started the phasing out process. So Rahane and then Pujara are already phased out. So they are never going to make a comeback. And Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli gradually will be phased off as well because test cricket is very crucial. If suddenly you take out four players, you can't sustain. So India is following this model. So we have to respect that and then back Shuman Gill at number three. But apart from that, this is my first starting playing 11 also. I understand that KL Rahul didn't want to keep and as per Craig Buzz reports, it's been kind of official that KL Rahul might not keep. But I was really hoping that Ishan Kishan would be fit and available for this series. So he can replace Shreya Zair over there and then KL Rahul can just focus on batting. But right now the scenario is slightly changed as Ishan Kishan is still not available for selection. We have to believe that it's because of his mental health break and not because of any disciplinary issues. So if that is the case, in place of Shreya Zair having KS Bharat over there just weakens the batting a little bit. Of course, KS Bharat is the best keeper out of the three that India have right now. But um, I think India can't afford to have KS Bharat over there and drop Shreya Zaya and lose on his batting. So I am expecting KL Rahul would keep at least for the first test and this is how the template looks like. Of course, Prashid and then Shami still recovering from injury. Of course, Prashid was playing a Ranji match. In that match, he got injured. So he's missing out and I'm really happy for Avesh as well. So India need to have some additional pace over there and Mukesh obviously makes the cut. Look at just the four spinners like Aksar Patel last time when England came here, he just made made the life hell for them. So, Aksar Patel retains his spot. Jadeja Ashwin obvious starters. And then Kuldeep is there. So, whenever some variety is needed, just Kuldeep comes in. And overall, happy squad. Leave in your early prediction what is going to be the result. Share with your friends, follow and stay connected.